Hey everyone, today I wanted to answer a question that I get asked all the time and that is how do I store all my pastels and organize them? Now I searched for a long time for a good pastel storage system and every box that I seem to find designed for pastels on the market had a few problems. Firstly, I couldn't find a box where the handle was on the top, meaning that all your pastels don't crash on top of each other when you pick the box up. That seemed important to me. Um, also, a system that I could add to over time. So as I get more pastels, I want to be able to add them into my collection. And that's when I found these Prim boxes on eBay. So it's P-R-Y-M, and they're actually designed to store craft bits and pieces. But when I first saw them, I just thought they'd be perfect for this job. And they come in both a two liter box which I use for other bits and pieces. It fits scissors, paints, whatever else you have. Um, and then I use the one liter trays for all my pastels. Um, and I actually use Unison's foam box inners. So I'll take one of the older boxes and use this foam bit for inside. They fit perfectly. Um, and they also actually leave a bit of space around the edge. So you can fit all your small bits and pieces, bits that have broken. Um, so they're, they're perfect. And you can actually buy these empty boxes with the foam inners online. So I don't think they're very expensive. So you can very quickly kit out a few of these trays to store all your pastels. So the neatest trick about these is being able to stack them all on top of each other. So in a very small amount of space, you can store your entire palette, yet very quickly be able to take them all out for work. And that's what I really needed to be able to put them away easily. I don't have the luxury all the time of being able to leave my work in progress out. Quite often I've had to pack everything away. And I just want to show you very quickly how I organize my colors. So each tray has a different color. I'm not very particular about this, but this definitely helps me when I come to work. When I need a particular shade, I know roughly where to go to find it. So I try to choose from light to dark um, and I'll put different tones. So for colors that I've got a lot of, like the greens, I've got the lighter mintier section. Um, one's just hit the floor. So I've got a few new shards down there. And I've got my limeier, zingier greens right through to a selection of both dark, limey coloured and bluey coloured greens. So I try and organise them in some fashion and it's great being able to lay all the trays out and see them all together like this. So another idea is to keep a track record of the pastels that you buy as once you get them and eventually this paper comes off, Sometimes it can be hard to remember what code name you need to reorder more. Um, one of the patrons this week sent me a picture of the wall chart he's working on. So each time he buys a new pastel, the next box gets colored in and the code gets written down. This is absolutely brilliant. So if you can do something like that, do. I took the lazy route and I recently got hold of Unison's beautifully handmade color chart. Uh, it's got every color they do on there. Obviously, I don't have every color yet, but it means that when I want to reorder one of my colors, I can very easily find the code. Or if I want to try a new color, I can see in real life what the color will look like. So it's great to keep a record of what you've got and also be able to see other colors that you might want to buy too. So that's how I store and organize my pastels. And just as a last note about this, the lid itself makes an excellent palette tray. So while I'm working on a piece, I'll have all the colors that I'm using on that piece in the tray, just waiting to go the next time I sit down to work. So thanks for watching and I hope you find this helpful. If you're seeing this on YouTube, please do subscribe and also check out my Patreon channel where I'll have lots more how-to videos, informational videos about pastel and also our long tutorials. So thanks and I'll catch up with you over there.